Someone's got some explaining to do. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, ooh, I dropped a vlog for the first time in a long time, and it seemed to cause a little, a, a little, a little, a little bit of confusion. Um, so I thought I'd come on here and give you guys a life update, and um. We, you know, we can we can sort out any confusion that there was because some of the comments were just I was like, what? What? It didn't make any sense because I guess people do not read. That's number one. People don't read the description bar. People don't read the pinned comments. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's where the confusion stemmed from. Um, basically, I've dropped a vlog moving to St. Lucia and I told you guys about it and obviously you're looking around me right now and um, you probably realize this isn't quite St. Lucia. What has happened? This seems to be back in London. Yes, I am back in London. Hi, I've been back in London since June. All right, let's reverse a little bit. Let's bring it back. I moved to St. Lucia in December of 2020 um until may of 2021 so i spent basically six months out there the reason why i moved is because i suspected that england was going back into a lockdown and it would have been their third one and like my my travel nature my name is raven for goodness sake like i'm meant to be free i'm a bird i'm meant to fly i could not stay in my house in the winter for another minute not seeing my family not seeing my parents not seeing like i just i just could not do it so when my sister went back home she left in november i was like you know what i'm going to like i can't take this so i booked a ticket and i left a month after because i just had to sort out some things like me and really had to have a discussion about what's going to happen what we're doing um rudolph as well i needed somewhere to to, to place rudolph because obviously he wasn't with me in saint lucia i did try to bring him down but the ticket was more expensive than a first class ticket. It was like something like £4,000 to bring him down to St. Lucia. I'm pointing down because he's he's literally right there. People have been asking about him. Rudolph, up, 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 come on, come on. <laughs> People have been asking about him. He's right here. He's fine. He's doing really, really good. He's just had a bar. So when I plan to go to St. Lucia, Rini and I had the discussion that I planned to go and um, because I wanted to go out there, he decided, well, he's going to go home and see his family as well. It was a perfect opportunity to do so and we both decided that we'd come back in um, May, end of May. Rudolph was staying with friends and family and he was doing very well. He was fine. He was having the time of his life. Isn't that right, baby? Isn't that right? Yes, yes, you're so good. You guys seen the vlog, you saw all what I did out there. Was I planning to stay forever? No, I was planning to stay until England opened back up again. So England opened back up in June when Boris decided that we were going to be able to go outside. He's giving everyone a vaccine and shops and life was just going back to normal. So I was like, okay, cool, you know what? I'll come back home. He did want to come to St. Lucia with me, but St. Lucia's my space, like it's my space to recharge, it's my country and I just needed away time. I needed away time from the dog, from the house, from him, from life, like I just needed a break to be around people that just inspire me and motivate me and all that kind of stuff. I need, like, I need my click um, and it was the best decision that I could have ever made for myself, like ever. Um, I just was not willing to suffer. Like my therapist told me that it was time um, to just take a break and go down to my house because that's all I kept talking about, going home, going home, seeing my grandmother. Um, I missed my family. Um, you didn't see that a lot on there because although I love sharing stuff with you guys, some things, not everything needs to be shared and some things I want to keep private. So you didn't see a lot of my family in the vlog. To all those who support me and all those who watch the vlogs and are just genuinely interested in the entertainment factor of the vlogs and just seeing what life is like so that they might decide that they want to move to St. Lucia or just having that nostalgia of being from the Caribbean and seeing what has happened and what has transpired in the Caribbean or just wanting entertainment in general and just love my vlogs. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm really happy that I'm able to entertain you guys. But for the others who are just like just want to know my business or just want to know personal things for just being nosy sake. I think there's a lot of the times that people feel that creators owe something to them. I don't owe anybody any updates, 
So some of the comments in there were like, they were paying my bills and they lived in my house and they were putting food in my mouth. And I'm like, sis, I owe you nothing. <laughs> I, me, Raven Nevera, owe you nothing. Um, anything that I do put out there is for entertainment, is for your, your, your entertainment, that's all it is. And I just want to have a gentle, friendly reminder that creators do not owe you anything. They don't owe you their personal lives. Um, I share what I want to share and I'm, I'm happy to do so, but when I'm not sharing, I'm not obligated to share. And I, I, I don't appreciate like the angry comments, like there's, there's pro proper anger. There is no reason for you to be that obsessed with somebody's life. Do you know what I mean? Like their personal life. So for those of you who do follow me on Instagram, you already know that I have been back in London since June. Um, and you already know that the St. Lucia thing was older. It's not like I'm there now. Um, it's just that that's the only time that I had to put out the vlog because I had been really sick. We'll get to that in a second. Um, so yeah, if you'd followed me on Instagram, especially on my stories, you would see more personal side of me. You'd see lots of Rudolph and lots of Rooney and all that kind of stuff because that's where I share most of that kind of stuff now just because I don't want to make like whole productions um on YouTube like whole videos unless we're going traveling or unless we're going um somewhere that is relevant to that so you'd remember that I said that Rooney would be featured less on my channel um just because <sighs> there are a lot of negative people like I don't want to deal with the negative Nancy's and the criticizing crystals I just I can't yeah so I'm, I'm I wasn't here for it so I just decided to feature less of that kind of content on my channel just to keep my mouth in check um I'm not generally a rude person I'm really nice but I do have a very sharp tongue and I just I just I just don't want that kind of energy um on the channel so I've just not been featuring that the reason why you hadn't seen me and the vlog came out so late is because I was really sick. So when I came back from London, say London, when I came back from St. Lucia, um, everything had opened up again and I pretty much figured, yeah, London, everybody's vaccinated, everybody is like, everything's back to normal um, and people will basically be like how it was in St. Lucia, like I was going out, I was doing stuff, but being super careful at the same time. Um, but I wasn't feeling 100% anyway, I thought maybe I had like thyroid gland problems, I was really fatigued, I was putting on weight like for absolutely no reason. Um, uh, I, I had just headaches and I had dizziness and brain fog, all sorts of stuff. So I went to go che get checked out um, and we didn't even get to the root of the problem yet and then I ended up getting COVID. Six months in St. Lucia, nothing. Come back to London, me and Rini went out, we ended up going to Bounce House and then we ended up going to, where was that other place? Some restaurant and we got ill, we got COVID from that. So I spent two and a half weeks like laid up just recovering from that. We both recovered from COVID but I still had like recovery symptoms and then I was already sick from before and we never even found out what had happened. Spent some time in the hospital, um, I was in the hospital twice, um, I spent my birthday in the hospital, but I'm much better now but I'm still doing tests. If you were on my Instagram just yesterday I was talking about having neurology tests done and I also brought Instagram along um, to my <laughs> cardiology um, appointments, my cardiology consultations, because I have to have like MRIs done. Um, I might put that on YouTube, I might not. It really just depends on how I feel um, in the moment and how I feel about sharing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on with me. I'm just kind of focusing on my health, physically and mentally, um, and uh, making sure that everything is 100%. Um, I'm pretty sure that everything should be fine but I don't know yet but um yeah we'll we'll, we'll say we'll say we'll say we'll say but as for what's happening on YouTube I'm super excited because I have a lot of things planned um if everything goes my way god willing um I have some announcements that I need to make which will not be happening yet but you can tell on my face that I'm really excited about it and I can't stop smiling and the smile is like really bright <laughs> There's a lot of new partnerships that are happening at the moment as well. It's just a lot. There's a lot of things happening. And there's a new series um, that I want to bring to my channel for you guys now that things are opening up again and travel's happening again. Um, so, yeah, you guys will get periodic updates. 
You guys might or might not see Rooney on the ground or on YouTube. You might or might not see Rudolph on there. If you wanna see more of me, you wanna know what's going on, you don't wanna be a couple months behind what's happening, um, then you might as well follow me on Instagram because that's where everything happens. That's where I update everybody. Um, and it's just more personal because it's right there. It's happening right now. YouTube is edited. It's a whole production that I put together. It's not like I can just come on one day and just be there. I go live on Instagram a lot. Um, I guess I could go live on YouTube, but I, eh, I don't really like that. So <laughs> if you want to catch me, you catch me on the ground. But um, that's it for now, guys. I, I hope you, you, you know, you understand a little bit more and I cleared up some of the confusion and we'll talk later. Bye.